Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a video on um, pro tips or five pro tips. I put this together because I get a, lo a load of requests from people saying um, instead of just watching the odd odd game and uh, uh, giving improvements and stuff and uh, showing my build orders and whatever, people were asking for like top level tips and stuff. So I put together five um, quickly of five top things that I could think of. So uh, first one is this. Can you guess where this dozer is and what map this is? Um, so I'm gonna actually zoom out. Um, I'm gonna reset the camera and you'll find out that it's tournament desert. And yeah, you can actually hide a dozer up here. Really easy, really simple. You can even, once it's been dropped off there by a Chinook, which is how we're going to get it up there, you can even uh, just drive off. You can't drive back up and you can't build anything on top of it, however, um, you can just drop it off. Uh, this can be useful for two reasons. Uh, one, uh, to save your dozer, if you've got a GLA or um, a China or whatever that's hunting your dozer and you want to save it, you can hide it up there, so uh, ground units shouldn't be able to attack it unless it's long range um, but the biggest benefit of this is these um, missile defenders so you, straight away in a USA mirror you're probably going to want to do a drop so in this case we're going to grab the um, Chinook we're going to go over here we'll just get rid of the um, rid of the dozer off there actually uh, you're going to just click anywhere right in the corner over there around here press uh, V for evacuate which is a shortcut for evacuate it's going to drop off usually around there on that little peak there um, I usually have these on a, another hotkey, so I have that on three, that with them on four, and you're going to instantly laser lock the um, enemy Chinooks. If a Ranger or a V comes anywhere near, you can actually take cover by going further back in the mountain. Um, but if you uh, go right to the edge, you can easily hit the enemy Chinook, so you can just stay up there and keep him off that supply for as long as you uh, need to. Uh, worth noting, this is the original Tournament Desert, the one with cars, the original official map. If you play the Tournament Desert No Bugs and uh, sorry, No Bugs and No Cars edition, then you won't be able to do this. This has been removed. Um, Okay, so that's the end of tip one, now jumping into tip two. Okay guys, so welcome into the second game, and this is the second tip. And this one is going to be about um, clearing your enemy's de demo traps with um, without losing any units, without wasting any money. Uh, you're basically clearing them for free and from a distance. As long as you've got a view of them, of where they're building, and you know roughly where they are, you'll be able to clear them for free. So uh, big thanks to ZZ, um, who's in this game and kindly uh, came online to help me, uh, help me make this. So uh, we're both enemies in this game. And he's currently building some uh, demo traps. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be able to clear these without wasting any units or any money. So you'll be able to see there, I'm actually clearing those things without just using my worker. And basically what I'm doing is selecting my worker and building a demo trap by pressing the D key really quick next to his demo trap. And then his demo trap is uh, going to detonate because it detects something near it. You're going to instantly select your... Um, what I'm doing is select selecting my scaffold by just doing that and I press the C key so it cancels it. So you're going to press D, um, place it nearby um, roughly and then you're going to press um, C on it to cancel it but too late the demo traps are already detonated so you get your refund for your 200 demo trap if you're demo. More expensive if you're the other GLAs like uh, normal GLAs 400 I think Tox is maybe 600 don't quote me on that um, and basically as long as you clear it you'll see that I'm placing it really quick and then cancelling it really quick you're clearing the enemy's demo traps so um, whether it's a little bug or not um, I'm not sure but it detects something near it um, so that's an easy quick way of uh, clearing your enemy's demo traps maybe you could do this with other um, other buildings as well but a demo trap can generally build pretty much anywhere so for example if you're trying to build a barracks or something near there one it's more expensive so if you mess it up you're going to lose 500 for a barracks um, and if you build like an arms dealer or something it's obviously way more expensive and also um, a barracks might not be able to fit there necessarily um, and it also might get shot by something else so if you do a demo trap he actually can't target it, he can't see it and it's just going to uh, cancel it so best when you're GLA you can do it probably when you're with um, other armies um, but yeah that's the um, second tip so I hope you enjoyed that one moving on to the next tip Okay guys, so welcome to the third tip then that I have for today. So um, this is actually a game I played quite recently against Size, and what we're going to be doing basically is countering a turret drop. So when the enemy USA, his laser by the way, drops a dozer behind your supply line like he's going to drop it there in this game, um, I'm going to show you an, um, a good way of clearing that. I'm just going to pause because I'm actually, I'll, I'll un unpause until this, um, until this uh, war factory is built, until that drops. Okay, so when this when this happens, 
um, different players based on how much experience they have will be um, contemplating different things so the, f the most obvious thing would probably um, if you've got a barracks nearby rockets will go nearby and shoot the um, dozer in this case though the barracks is all the way over here and this strategy does base uh, is based on you having a, a barracks up as well by the way otherwise you won't be quick enough so what we're going to do is most players will probably build a troop crawler from there and they'll go and attack it but what you'll do you'll evacuate your troop crawler and you'll start attacking it one the turret can hold its own for quite a bit against the troop crawler the troop crawler should eventually win because of all the red guards but what happens is the dozer if it's a good player will just run over some of your uh, your uh, troop crawler let's say he runs over three or four even they've got four left and they're not going to take out a turret whether it's a laser turret or a patriot or anything else uh, generally four or he's going to run over all of them if he's a really good player so um, I, I think it's only me that generally does this so what I'm going to do is actually place a bunker so size actually left a gap there so I placed the bunker there to one shield the um, shield the supply trucks I'm actually going to build a second bunker to totally enclose it so there's very little places that you can shoot now he's going to go for the um, running them over but it's too late they're already inside uh, the bunker so I've built a bunker right by the side of it and that goes down I've lost nothing Apart from I've invested in two bunkers, which cost 400 each, so I'm going to sell them and get 200 back. I think it's 200. But again, don't quote me on that. Um, but basically, I've only lost 400, and he's lost a dozer, which is a thousand, and he's lost a turret, which is a thousand. This game does play on, but um, straight away from that, I've got a little bit of an advantage. Um, but still, laser has the advantage. But that is the um, third tip. So moving on to the fourth tip. Okay guys, so welcome to the fourth tip. So um, for this one I actually had to trawl through quite a few replays. I actually went, ended up going on Gentle and I found this replay. Uh, Boykit against um, Trapper. And what we're going to be doing here is similar to um, using the Demo Trap uh, earlier. Uh, by placing a scaffold we're going to be, uh, if we just wait a second. So we're going to see this flamer come through the center. And we're going to pause it there. So this flamer is about to die, and you'll often be in this situation when you're um, when you're China against GLA, or USA against GLA even. But specifically, um, well, more or less, um, always going to be China. So what's going to happen is that um, that's going to die any second now, and either a tech, which is there. Um, he hasn't got the vet upgrade, by the way, which everyone should be doing. The tech is either going to scrap up, and if it gets teched up, if it gets scrapped up th uh, twice, it'll become a super tech, and it'll have a really powerful cannon and can level whole bases, kill dozers and trucks really easy. So you don't want that to scrap up, and you also don't want the marauder to scrap up because if the marauder scraps up twice, everybody knows it gets two cannons. It becomes insanely powerful. It has an insane damage and uh, fire rate. So uh, what you actually do when that dies, you want to be um, have a dozer on a hotkey, and as soon as it dies instantly um, press the dozer let's say you have it on number five you're going to press number five and you're going to place a scaffold over it to cancel out the scrap and there you go that's exactly what Boyka did there so the scrap appeared uh, Trapper was going for the scrap Boyka was really quick and placed the scrap over it and cleared it um, it wipes it out it deletes it and um, and yes, it looks like Boyk is actually playing pretty decent here as well. So uh, we're not going to watch the rest of this replay. Uh, we're going to jump into our fifth tip. <clears throat> okay then guys, welcome back. And um, this is the fifth tip and the last tip for this video. So um, what this is going to talk about is... You, have you ever been in a situation where you've got a worker building a tunnel or a stealth tunnel and you're trying to use a dozer or a truck to crush it and you just can't seem to crush it? Well, in this replay I've... Um, come up with some positions for example there um, where you're not going to be able to um, run it over as China or you might be able to run it over but it'll take so long that the tunnel will very likely be up before it gets run over so in this case what I've done is I've took the worker in that little spot there <laughs> very close that by the way in that little spot obviously he can't see the stealth tunnels so this works better with stealth I've even stopped the worker there to give him a little bit longer, and he's going to actually now try with the uh, with the supply trip. Big thanks to Murder M, by the way, who uh, volunteered to help me with this online. Big thanks to him. So he's now going to try and kill that worker with a supply truck. I think he does eventually get this one. Uh, yeah, he does eventually get it, but by that time, obviously, that that um, tunnel would have been up. I think maybe if you supply the, tried the supply trucks in the beginning, that wouldn't have been able to get up. But the way I did that was I took the worker right in the back of here. Not right in the back, because then it becomes impassable terrain and you can't build anything. But just quite near the back, and then I built the tunnel um, facing facing the water. Uh, there might be another way of doing that, but um, that was um, a decent way that I found. Um, 
there's also a few positions here but it's quite difficult to replicate it every time um, there is going to be another one shown here which is I'm going to build a tunnel tucked in here and it actually forces the worker out and he goes over here now I asked MurderM to try collect, uh, selecting the dozer and to try running over this worker and whenever he clicked in the back of there the, the, the truck was just running around so I don't know if this um, again we only tried it this once I haven't uh, practiced it a load of times uh, but there are there are definitely places where trucks can't get to so he's going to try again with the truck and with the dozer but nothing can get in there I've stopped that worker so if I select to build it now he'll probably have to walk around but um, he was just building it there and that would have finished and that would have uh, caused big problems so if you want to do like an aggressive tunnel that you, you're scared might get run over that's a uh, good sp a good spot for it so there is another spot that I found over on this left side um, so again if you uh, look at this map uh, there is like a little indentation here so if you find that it's just on the um, on the nor more north side of this tower and it's in this little indentation took the worker in there and then build the tunnel um, I found it easiest to, to do the tunnel facing facing the worker um, and I asked uh, Murderem to try and uh, get the worker and run it over but uh, and he even stopped it to give him a little bit more time but he had real hard trouble trying to run it over very close but he's not able to um, so yeah there's three three locations that I found initially um, so that left side uh, just there and just there there may be loads more as I said I have I'm very I'm a very lazy person and I haven't found um, I haven't tested loads of positions they're just the three obvious positions that I uh, um, I thought of straight away and I thought I'd share those with you also I will just fast forward I've got another little uh, tip for you you might already know this um, but then you can actually you can walk all kinds of stuff up here on this mountain so I just walk my two workers up there you can walk up that path there even dozers and trucks and V's and everything can get up um, and that little location on the top there apparently that dozer wasn't able to kill it so if you are lucky enough to get on this little mountain and then you can even fire off um, rockets and stuff and if you've got um, Chinooks collecting there you can pop out um, quads maybe even get a stinger up here as well it's going to be big harassment for any USA uh, for China maybe not that big because you can just do a flame wall there and you're trapped but definitely against USA that is a, a big tip that I would recommend also you could do um, we did on the first map on tournament desert you could do it on that bottom right hand side by doing a combat drop and um, dropping out some uh, missile defenders and shooting some uh, laser locking some chinooks so yeah that's my five tips for today then guys i hope you enjoyed that. It's more uh, top level than the usual usual tips that i give out so um hope this helped you um i hope you learn, learn at least one one or two things um so thanks for watching gg and i'll see you next time